Hey everyone, if you want to make your own podcast but you don't know where to begin, Spotify for Podcasters makes it super easy. They've got everything in one place, it's totally free, and you can make money while doing it. Here's how it works. Spotify for Podcasters lets you record and edit podcasts right from your phone or computer, so no matter what your setup is like, you can start doing it today. Then you can distribute your podcast to Spotify and pretty much everywhere else podcasts are heard. Video podcasts are also supported, and you can even conduct polls and Q&As. With Spotify for Podcasters, you can earn money in a variety of ways, including ads and podcast subscriptions. And best of all, the platform is totally free. No catch, totally free. When I wanted to start my own podcast, I did not know where to begin, and I didn't think it was even possible. And Spotify for Podcasters made it happen. They made it easy. They made it quick. And I am doing something that I love. What more can I ask for? So if you're interested in starting your own show, you can do it. And I highly recommend you give this a try. Download the Spotify for Podcasters app or go to www.spotify.com slash podcasters to get started. Hey, everybody. What's up? Welcome back to another episode of Everything Kratom, the podcast about anything and everything. Kratom. Great to have you with us on this Tuesday morning. Hoping all is well with you out there today, as always. It's getting real out there, you guys. So, at the beginning of last year, 2022, one of the things that I did to ring in the new year was to make a prediction that state-by-state -state battles would be the future of Kratom, unless it somehow entered into the national conversation, which I still think it's possible that happens, and I recently did a couple episodes on how I think that might take place. So check those out. Just came out a couple weeks ago. Um, but nevertheless, who knows, right? So anyway... I think I did a pretty good job of predicting that the state-by-state -state battles would become very intense over the next year or two, because that's kind of what's happened. But, um, but you know, there, there's a lot more wiggle room in terms of what that actually looks like, and there's a lot of states that haven't addressed Kratom at all yet. However, for the states that have, they really vary widely in their approaches to it, and now it is official that we are really starting to see those differences play out in pretty bad ways and how having one state next to another one that has kratom illegal and the other one has kratom completely legal and no regulation for instance or you know some regulation does not make for a good border and it certainly doesn't make for good intrastate justice so let's dive into this a little bit i'm gonna start by saying i do not have all the details here and I'm not the source that you all should go to when it comes to this. I'm going to point you towards the Kratom Guy Show, uh, Kratom Science, Joey Talks on YouTube, and some other sources I'll link in the description of this podcast. These guys are killing it. And there's some other people on Twitter and, and some other spaces that I'm still like just getting to know. But um, I, I just want everyone to know that like I'm not the go-to source for this stuff. They are doing such a good job of keeping up with this, and I'm learning everything from them, uh, you know, aside from actually reading the articles and the reports myself, just to confirm things. I, I have to say they're all doing such an amazing job. And Joey Talks recently did a, a YouTube video that everyone should check out, and I'll link it in the description of this podcast, that it dives in with some pretty great people. It dives into this risk that we are starting to see play out where someone will either purchase Kratom or just have it with them, and they're driving. They're driving through a state, or they're driving from one state to another, or they don't even realize they're crossing a state border. And that state that they're going through basically has Kratom on par with heroin in terms of their legal system. So it's like a Schedule One drug or something like that. And so you have these people who literally are doing like nothing out of the ordinary they happen to have Kratom with them while they're driving or, or traveling, and they get caught, pulled over. For whatever circumstances they are, and I'm not um, diminishing whatever circumstances there are because it's not always just Kratom at play, right? So this is just, I'm just focusing on the Kratom component. When it comes to the Kratom component, they get pulled over, the person finds Kratom in their car, and, and they are arrested. And these people are not like, you know, 
addled drug ridden people who are pushing things across the Mexico border, you know, like, like these are just, they just, they happen to have Kratom in their car, right? They're being arrested and their sentences are a decade. Their bail, hundreds of thousands of dollars. Um, I think even one of these cases is a million dollars, but then they changed it. So this is getting real. Everyone should, you know, don't take it lightly that there are different laws on the books in different states. You could go to prison if you have Kratom, not even a huge amount of it. If you have Kratom with you and you are driving through a state where it is illegal. This is something I have to think about being that I'm on the, you know, given I'm on the border with uh, Vermont, which still sees Kratom as illegal um, under some absurd... (laughs) absurd law where they didn't they don't even know what it is honestly but anyway that's you know point for another time i live next to a state like this so so i have to make sure i don't have any kratom with me if i'm driving through vermont and i i do make sure that i don't have any with me but it just goes to show i mean it's close to home everyone it is very close to home and it's very real very present and you all need to be careful out there i certainly need to be careful so It's insane. Now, I've linked the YouTube video that Joey put out recently on Joey Talks. Um, You, you, it's not the only place you need to go to to learn about this stuff, Uh, but but it's helpful because I know a lot of people they they don't like reading long you know texts and everything, which I think that everyone should be open to reading the documents about these cases. But but if you need a visual or just need some people talking to you about it, this is a great. a great opportunity to have that so you, you can check it out it's uh it's an episode that he did um called kratom arrest kratom in the law came out two months ago so there's actually a lot that's happened since then but um but it's it's a great resource for anyone who's trying to understand what is going on with this interstate justice system you know uh, i guess i don't know what the word would be extravaganza cluster f <laughs> um, and someone has died from from this circumstance. Uh, Marshall Price, and again, I'm not the go-to source of information here, but I know for a fact that he was arrested a number of months ago. He had Kratom in his car. He got an absurdly long sentence. He was in imprisoned, and he uh, he died like three weeks after being imprisoned. And um, the 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 investigation does not turn up a lot of answers and there's a lot of strange things going on there i will leave it at that though because i don't want to talk about things that i don't know too much about however from what i can tell and based on the experience i've had you know when my brother was in jail and in prison and all these different places it is very difficult to get an honest answer from the people running these places and i don't put it past anyone anyone or any prison or any guard or anything like that to lie or try to cover up something as horrendous as this. So this person was imprisoned and they died and they were imprisoned because of having Kratom and being in a state where it's not legal, coming from a state that is legal, okay? Now another person, this is a little more recent I think, she was arrested recently. She has a huge sentence. Her bail was set at a huge amount. Um, Again, I'm linking some personal things to her, you know, like to a fundraising page. Um, I'm not necessarily advocating for anyone to donate funds to either of these things. I'm just linking those things because they are um, one of the few sources of of insight into these people's imprisonment. So that's the only reason why. But I'm not making the point that anyone should or shouldn't give money to these campaigns. I want to be clear about that. Um, What I do know is that this person was also caught going through a state where Kratom is not legal, coming from a state where Kratom is legal. And it's just insane. This can happen to anybody. And as we see more states come up with laws or not come up with laws, this is going to become more of a common occurrence. So I only wanted to do this episode for the simple point, because I, again, I'm not, I don't have much info to share myself and I don't want to spout anything that's not true. Um, I only share this because I think that it affects everyone and everyone should be aware of this and should, I guess, in the most neutral way possible that I could say this, respect state laws, but I guess less neutral and more how I'm feeling. Uh, 
protect yourself. <laughs> don't bring Kratom with you across a state line if you don't know the state's laws. And also, perhaps it is not a good idea to travel at all with Kratom right now. Because I I don't have every state memorized in my head of what their Kratom laws are. I know generally which ones are illegal and which ones are not illegal, but it's like, you never know. A cop could pull you over, look and see that you have this weird green powder and it can become a thing and you end up in a really bad situation even though you don't deserve to be there even by that state's laws so why risk it i guess is my thought right now so i'm kind of having to rethink and second guess how i'm operating right now and i guess i just my my conscience made me feel obligated to do an episode to just mention this to everyone and just to say it might not be worth the risk right now until things kind of settle into place which might not be for a while I don't think I'm going to travel anywhere with Kratom. I'm not going to bring it with me in the car, even if I think I know the laws of the states I'm in or going to. What's, what's, I don't want to risk any of this stuff happening to me. And I can't believe it's happened to other people. It's just horrendous. And, and I think everyone should be following what's happening in both these cases and, and be aware because it can be anybody. It could be anybody. So anyway, there's my two cents. Check out the other people's shows and channels who know a lot more than I do and are doing a lot more due diligence than me. (laughs) Um, I just wanted to make sure people were aware that it's happening. For the actual information, check out everyone else's stuff. Um, I have the easy job here of just mentioning it and then going about my merry way. But I think that that's why I wanted to talk about it is because, you know, lucky me that I get to be all lottie die every day and have my kratom and then do whatever I want. Like it's this could affect me. It could affect you. Could affect everyone. I don't think that anyone should be using Kratom without being aware of the fact that there's a little bit of weight that should be felt with regards to the fact that this is happening to other people right now. So anyway, whether you like Kratom or don't like it, this is something that for anyone who knows what it is, kind of brings everyone in one space and says, look, this is a consequence. This is something that could happen to any one of you regardless of your intentions or what you think. So there you have it. My conscience is still not clear, but feeling a little bit better. (laughs) Ugh, what a selfish way to put it. But anyway, there you have it. All right, I'm done. Um, I'll be back tomorrow. And uh, yeah, stay safe out there, everybody. Talk to you then. Bye-bye.